In this video, I want to introduce a sweet little add-on for Blender called Automatic Fake User. Experienced Blender artists will probably understand what it does just based on its name. It automatically enables fake user for all of your unused data blocks, such as actions, materials, geometry nodes, trees, shader groups, and worlds. It is a paid but very affordable product, just $5 on Blender Market. If you want to know more, Next, I'm going to explain the concept of fake user. And if you don't know what it is, definitely watch this part because it will save you so much trouble. And then I'll demonstrate how the add-on solves the fake user problem. Some of you may want to just go ahead and skip to this part. Before we get into it, I want to mention CG Dive's add-on directory, which helps you discover cool Blender resources. Check it out on addons.cgdive.com. Okay, so what is fake user? It is a unique Blender concept. If I create an object and I just press I to create a keyframe, that will create a new action. To actually see the action, I have to go to Dope Sheet and switch it to Action Editor. And here is my action. And notice the shield icon next to it. It is not enabled. If I click on it, it will become blue, which means it is enabled, but for now I'll disable it. So this shield here is the fake user. And it is important because if I disable this action from the current object, it will be deleted the next time I save and reload this scene. If I look at my action data blocks, you'll see this action that I just created. It is still here, but it has a zero next to its name. That means it has zero users. And it also means it will be deleted when I save and reload this scene. Let's see how this works. Now I don't have any actions applied. I'm going to press I, which will create a new action. And this one, I'm going to enable fake user for. So now in the list, you'll see that the second action has an F, which stands for fake user next to it. That's how we know that it won't be deleted. And finally, I'll disable this action as well. And I'll press I and create a whole new action. For this final action, I will not enable the shield icon. Now I'm going to save the file, give it a random name. Then I'll go to File, Revert, which basically reopens the same file that I just saved. And now let's see what happened. The final action that was actually applied to my object was kept. The second action on which I enabled fake user is still here. That is because it has the fake user. And the very first action, which wasn't applied to anything and it didn't have fake user, was actually deleted. And this is a peculiarity of Blender which confuses many people. It applies to all sorts of data blocks, not just actions. Materials are the same. Here I created a new material. I'm going to disable it and now if I look at the list of materials, you'll see that this unapplied material has zero next to it. Again, it means it will be deleted. And it is similar with uh, geometry nodes, trees, and so on. It is not entirely clear why the Blender developers decided to do things this way and not enable fake user by default. Most likely, it is meant to automatically clean up your file so that any unused data is deleted when you save and reload your file. But for many users, especially beginners, this is frustrating. People don't understand why their actions and materials just mysteriously disappear. Now you should understand why, but let's focus on the automatic fake user add-on now and let's see how it works and how it solves this problem. You can purchase it on Blender Market. Once you do, you'll be able to click view order and download it from here. Download the zip file, do not unzip it. Then I'll go to edit preferences, add-ons. This is Blender 4.2. In earlier versions of Blender, you'll find an install add-on button, but here I'll click on this triangle and install from disk. Then I'll go to my add-on, select the zip file and click install from disk. And if I search for it, it will pop up and it will be enabled. If I click on the triangle next to the add-on, it expands some add-on options, which are important. Here you can define what kind of data blocks will be saved automatically. And personally, I would just enable everything. I'm not sure why materials are not ticked by default. There is a way to exclude certain 
data blocks from the automatic saving, and that is to include a special keyword in their name, such as exclude, or you can just rename it to X or something like that. And then we have the behavior of the add-on. There are two ways to save automatically. One is when you save the file, and the second one is through a special button, which you can find under file, batch fake user. Let's give it a try. So this action here is not saved. I'm going to unlink it and you'll see the zero next to it. I'll enable the other action and disable its fake user and unlink it. And I'll create one more action. And again, it won't have fake user. And I'll create a material and unlink it. And I'll create another one. So now we have two materials and three actions and none of them has the fake user enabled. As you can see, the add-on doesn't really enable fake user on the fly. Instead, I have to go to file save or maybe save incremental or save as. Any way you save a file will work. So I'll just press save. And as soon as a file was saved, you'll see that the fake user on my action was enabled. And if I take a look at my other actions, all of them have F in front of the name. So fake user is enabled and same with the materials. So that is how the add-on works in a nutshell. And again, we also have the option to manually batch enable the fake user on all data blocks. So if I disable the fake user on all of these and also on the materials, and then I go to file, batch fake user, give it a second, and all data blocks will have fake user enabled. I think enabling fake user on save is great. So I could go to preferences and just disable the manual button. So it will no longer show under file. Or if you prefer the manual approach, then you can disable a sign on save and enable the manual save. So you'll have this option, but saving will not enable fake users. I'll keep both options on. Again, you can check out this add-on on Blender Market. You'll find a link in the video description. And if you want to discover even more cool add-ons, check out addons.cgdive.com.